what's up gemini's welcome to your february 2019 general reading if this is the first time you're watching my videos um i'll just share with you that i am also a gemini my birthday is may 28 so go ahead in the comment section and represent for gemini gang put your birthdays down there see if you can find your birthday twin and to all my birthday twins out there what's up <laughs> thanks for watching and i hope that this video it's going to be very positive for all of us, right? Because I'm Gemini, so I'm in this with you. And we've been having a good, I would say, good January so far. This year has really turned around for Gemini. We were having it pretty rough for some of us for like two years, for sure. But I feel like, I don't know, the energy feels different. It feels lighter. It doesn't feel as heavy or dreary or, you know, hopeless. I, I'm just glad that we are not in that heavy energy here. And like a lot of us are getting into really stable relationships or things are starting to feel very stable. Um, our lives are starting to work out. You also have the 1111 walking through that gateway or, you know, walking through that path of abundance and luck and good fortune. Some of you may be seeing 1111 a lot. Um, I've seen it a few times. I know that uh, some people in my family have seen it, but that's definitely a good sign all right gems so i'm going to shuffle i'll fast forward through the shuffle and then we'll come back and do the reading together Gemini, Gemini. So let's see what February has in store for us. A few cards fell out. I feel like a lot of you could be, a lot of you are getting proposed to this month. So be ready or someone's going to be expressing their love for you. Or I feel like you're going to have a lot of admirers this month. Like you guys are going to be very magnetic and attractive this month for sure. So expect a lot of people to want to go out with you, go on dates, offer you things, um, express their love for you or express like they have some sort of feelings for you this month so be on the lookout for that okay you may get some like secret admirer flowers on valentine's day who knows so just be um aware of that energy that you're giving off this month because it's very 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 attractive so the overall theme for february is the five of swords in reverse which is good okay remember i said leaving that heavy energy leaving that energy of feeling like nothing is going in your favor feeling as if you don't have the advantage in situations you've just been taking advantage kind of for a while that energy is going to lift the challenge here is the hermit so for some of you it could be a virgo specifically that you were dealing with in the past that's made you feel like they had some sort of control over you especially on your thoughts and your mind and that's what some of you could be going through but i feel like that person no longer has that hold on you okay or that control for a lot of you it could be just getting in touch with some sort of deeper knowledge or finding your your path moving forward we'll clarify now the source of all of this is the ace of pentacles so there's some new like i'm saying new offers on the table or new opportunities coming your way this is a new year i feel like you have an opportunity to do something else something new and this is helping you leave a lot of the old feelings and um power struggles behind that you had in the past now how this moves forward you have the emperor so this is strong energy this is feeling very empowered in control we'll see if this is your energy or external it could be an aries that you're dealing with wow on your mind you have the six of wands so you're feeling victorious you're feeling very powerful this month german i am telling you you have that fiery aries type of energy where i feel like you're going to be a magnet to a lot of people. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. You see offers, offers coming in, jobs, opportunities, relationships. Like you're being recognized and you know it. You you know that people are recognizing you and seeing you. And I feel like it's going to make you feel like you're going to be feeling yourself pretty much. You're going to be feeling very powerful, very in control. No longer feeling like things are out of your control. You're going to, you know, but with all of this power comes great responsibility right becomes keep staying humble in a way i feel like that's why the hermit card is here because it's going to tell you not to fill yourself too much this month to still remain you know humble and lighthearted in a way because i feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunity for you this month in your subconscious you have the two of wands so you already know that 
you're moving on to a new phase, okay? Geminis are very self-aware. Um, we can definitely see both sides of the coin, and you're very aware that you are leaving something behind to embark on something brand new, or you're leaving an old energy behind. And you're aware that you have options and choices at this point. Your overall energy is the Seven of Wands, so you are in control here. You have the advantage this month. You're going to be like, I'm telling you, people are going to be on you, Gemini. You're going to have to fight them off with a stick is what I'm getting from this card, right? Because people are going to be really vying for your attention this month in your immediate environment. Wow, you got the Emperor and the Empress. Check you out. The Emperor and the Empress in your reading. In your environment, you, I'm telling you, you are the Empress, okay? You are looking good. You are sitting pretty this month. You are like manifesting so many things for yourself this month gemini this is a really great reading it's you know making me very excited to do this reading but you're manifesting big things here especially long-term committed relationships with the king the emperor and the empress really good stuff the overall outcome wow if it can't get any better right the sun card it doesn't get any better than that most positive card in the deck wait as i say that bottom of your deck wheel of fortune if it can't get any better right i guess it could with that wheel of fortune gemini <laughs> be prepared be prepared to be very happy very abundant if some of you are or we're trying to have children, be prepared because you are either expecting or will be or will find out you're expecting this month. There is some sort of news about a baby here. You have the Empress, the Sun, the Ace of Pentacles. Um, some of you have been trying for a while, five months, five years, whatever the case may be, you guys are definitely getting your wish, getting what it is that you want here. Let's clarify. This is a really good reading, Gemini. Wow, bottom of your deck, seven of wands. So you have the repeating cards here. So let's see why, let's see the ace of pentacles because this is what's the root of all of this. Why is the ace of pentacles here? The Gemini in the month of February, where is the ace of pentacles here? You see, two of wands again here in your subconscious and the eight of cups. So you've made a decision you made a decision to accept an offer or to embark on something new. A lot of you, this could involve travel. Um, this could involve leaving something behind for something new. But you're leaving behind baggage is what I'm getting here. Leaving behind a lot of old baggage or like toxic relationships. There's something really good coming for you, Gemini. Wow really really good come on wheel of fortune sun emperor empress here you guys go showing up in your readings something really good is coming your way this is the time this is gemini's time to be happy again to be themselves some people say that this card represents gemini as well because of the child that childlike energy you're gonna feel that childlike energy again like i'm saying you see how your mindset you know how we gemini's are the way we think really affects the way we feel, and we feel victorious. We feel appreciated. We feel recognized this month for sure. Um, let's see what that Emperor energy is. Why is the Emperor energy here for Gemini this month, February? Five of Wands. So again, an end to struggles, an end to... The struggle you've been going through, I feel like you're going to feel very empowered and feel like you are in control this month. Again, Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of your deck. You're in control this month. You control your destiny. In your environment, you have the Empress, which I strongly believe is you. <laughs> the Empress and the Emperor. So this is your energy, Gemini. You are royalty this month. There's no other way for me to really say it. You are royalty this month. Seven of Cups in reverse. No longer confused. No longer feeling clouded or, or not seeing your full potential. You are seeing it and living up to it. The outcome for you is the Sun card. 
most positive card in the deck. Why is the sun card here? Oof. There you go again, Gemini, air sign energy, queen of swords. You are powerful. You are feeling yourself again. Knight of pentacles, you are moving forward with that pentacle that you were given. <clears throat> And this could also talk about an earth sign in your life, specifically a Virgo. Maybe an end to a power struggle with the Virgo that you're dealing with. You finally have the upper hand or you get what it is that you want with someone. I feel like you're victorious with someone, especially partnerships. Or someone is coming to offer you something very significant. The hanged man in reverse, no longer that stuck energy. Moving forward. <laughs> Double sun. Double sun, Gemini. Look at this. Amazing reading for you guys. Amazing reading for us. Let's see what's going on in our love lives, okay? Let's continue this energy. We're going to use the Romance Angels. The Romance Angels. Let's see what's going on in the month of February for Gemini. What's going on in love for Gemini's? Sun, Moon, and Rising, guys, and Venus in the month of February. What's going on for Gemini? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime, Gemini. Emperor, Empress, true love. Sun card, Wheel of Fortune. You guys are with someone right now or will be with someone that, like, damn, this is meant to be. Like, this is faded. This is true love. This is good. This is a blessing, Gemini, for both of you. Ooh. Ooh. The soulmate card. Yes, this is your soulmate. Come on. The Empress and the Emperor. This is your soulmate. Okay. For some of you, please release your ex. Okay. This person is 10 times better than whoever this person was. You walked away and you walked into something good, Gemini. Okay? Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first and know what you deserve. Give your relationship a chance with this person if you're having doubts, some of you. And keep an open mind if you're doubting this connection. Dang, Gemini! We're killing it this month. I'm so excited for all of us, especially in love. Very strong love vibes in the month of February. So good for you. All right. Um, for others of you, you are in a relationship. This person is your soulmate. Okay. Keep an open mind and give this relationship a chance. If you were having doubts or you were confused about this person, could be an Aries, could be a water sign. I'm seeing strong Virgo, Leo here for sure. Yeah, Gemini, this is good stuff. All right, Gems, if you want to book a private reading with me, there is a link in my description to do so. You just purchase a reading and I'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. And I hope you guys have an amazing February. Good luck and I'll see you in the next video.